Kathy Wood acknowledges that many individuals in the investment community might not fully comprehend the impact of Tesla's recent software upgrade for full self-driving. They suggest that Tesla is making substantial progress in this regard. During a captivating video interview with Kathy Wood, a highly respected investor, several intriguing topics were explored, including the renowned entrepreneur Elon Musk, his groundbreaking company Tesla, the popular social media platform Twitter, and the exclusive content that's made available to dedicated subscribers. Wood, known for her astute investment decisions, sparking great interest among viewers. The conversation touched upon the initial price at which Wood's fund invested in Tesla, showcasing her deep market knowledge and ability to identify promising opportunities. What struck many was Wood's mention of the absence of accredited investor limitations in her fund's investment, highlighting the inclusivity and accessibility of her investment strategy. This disclosure served as a testament to Wood's forward-thinking approach and her dedication to empowering a diverse range of investors. With evident enthusiasm, Wood expressed her eagerness to potentially acquire more shares in Tesla, displaying her unwavering confidence in the company's prospects. Seeking engagement from viewers, she invited opinions and thoughts on Elon Musk's performance as the driving force behind Tesla's success. This open-ended question prompted viewers to join the discussion, sharing their perspectives and fueling a lively exchange of ideas in the comment section. Interestingly, the conversation shifted to the recent departure of Tucker Carlson from Fox News and his subsequent move to Twitter. Wood interpreted this significant move as a sign of transformative changes occurring within the media landscape. The departure of such a personality from a traditional media platform to a more dynamic and interactive digital space hinted at the evolving nature of the industry. This observation resonated with viewers who found it thought-provoking and indicative of the shifting paradigms in the media consumption and engagement. The report briefly mentions the limited engagement on Twitter subscriptions, with Elon Musk's tweet receiving only 11 replies, over 1,000 views, and 72 likes. This serves as a segue into the narrator's belief in Twitter's immense potential and their conviction that this platform is reshaping the mainstream media landscape. They express confidence in Elon Musk's success, despite reports of decreased revenue in December. The narrator clarifies that they do not have any insider information about the company and that their interactions with Musk are infrequent. However, they believe that Twitter's previous model was unsustainable and failed to generate sufficient revenue. In contrast, they anticipate that Musk will be able to monetize the platform effectively. Sure, there was a shocking element to Elon Musk's abrupt firing of people, but it seems that the company is now experiencing positive cash flow. Additionally, their advertising efforts appear to be picking up again, albeit from a new starting point. Notably, they've let go of 80% of their workforce. In the video, the interviewer suggests that things might worsen before improving, but there is optimism that the situation will eventually improve. As a longtime investor in Elon through Tesla, the excessive amount of time he spends on Twitter, in addition to his numerous non-Tesla responsibilities, raises concerns. During the interview, Kathy Wood strongly disagrees with the viewer's assertions and expresses her deep admiration for Elon Musk's remarkable ability to surround himself with brilliant individuals across the various companies, most notably Tesla and SpaceX. In Kathy's eyes, Musk embodies a modern-day renaissance man, a visionary investor who consistently pushes the boundaries of what's possible. Among Musk's endeavors, Tesla holds a special place in Kathy's perspective. She believes it's the most significant and impactful AI project in existence. While she acknowledges that some Tesla owners and investors may not fully grasp the significance of the recent software upgrade for full self-driving, Kathy Wood firmly believes that it brings the company one step closer to achieving its ultimate goal. She finds the interviewer's skepticism to be misguided and stems from a lack of proper understanding and insight. In a rather assertive statement, Kathy implies that the interviewer's line of questioning and analysis regarding Tesla's stock misses the mark entirely. From her perspective, the interviewer lacks the necessary knowledge and understanding on the subject matter. This assertion showcases Kathy's confidence in Tesla's potential and her trust in Elon Musk's leadership. Despite the skepticism surrounding Musk's Twitter activity, Kathy Wood sees it as an opportunity for engagement and emphasizes her support for him. She recognizes the importance of Musk's dedication to the platform and the excitement he generates. As long as Elon Musk remains happy and passionate about his work, Kathy Wood shares that enthusiasm and is content. 
It underscores her belief in the tremendous potential for Tesla and the positive impact it can have on the world. When asked about Elon Musk's decision to not appoint a CEO for Twitter, Kathy Wood expresses her expectation for such a move. However, just hours before the interview, Elon Musk surprises everyone by announcing on Twitter that he has hired a new CEO for the platform. The decision aligns with Kathy Wood's speculation as Elon plans to transition into an executive chair and focuses on overseeing product development, software, and system operations. It seems that Elon intends to make improvements by cleaning houses, increasing transparency, and clarifying the boundaries of permissible content, rather than randomly censoring users. So back to the autopilot. The TSA regulators are investigating the possibility of autopilot, and there's even talk of taking it off the road during a recall. As an investor, does the autopilot concern you? Autopilot is the heart of Tesla's promise, its magic, and its vision. How catastrophic would it be? Are you concerned? Aren't you concerned? Okay, let's hear what Kathy Wood has to say. Kathy Wood starts by giving credit to the analysts who worked on the Tesla model, updating it and making it more impressive. The target price for 2027 is projected to be $2,400, while it currently stands at $170. A significant part of this valuation is attributed to Autopilot, which was emphasized during Tesla's Investor Day. Data presented during the event showed that a Tesla car with full self-driving capability is six times safer than the average car on the road, with an accident occurring only every 3.2 million miles. In comparison, the average car is an accident every 500,000 miles. Even when comparing the new Tesla FSD with older models that lack this capability, it still proves to be six times safer than the average car and five times safer than the previous Tesla cars. Kathy Wood emphasizes the importance of focusing on fatalities, urging the National Highway and Safety Transportation Association to prioritize road safety. Over the years, the number of fatalities has decreased due to safety measures like seatbelts, but in the last eight years alone, the figure has risen back to 45,000. Kathy questions why the attention is primarily on Tesla accidents when there are so many other fatal accidents on the road. It's absurd, but every time they investigate a Tesla fatality, they mostly find that it was the driver's fault. Tesla cars have numerous sensors and monitoring systems, and overall they prove to be safer than most other cars. However, there have been instances where people have gotten into crashes while on autopilot because they weren't paying attention. If you've ever used autopilot, you know you have to pay attention and keep your hands on the wheel. The recent upgrade in autopilot features is impressive as it alerts you with beeps to ensure that you stay focused. Despite this, I remain a strong believer in Tesla. Instead of engaging in open and diverse discussions, the mainstream media insists on asking leading questions to elicit negative headlines. They try to spread nothing but negativity. We see through their tactics and with the rise of alternative media, these narrative pushers will become obsolete. It's becoming evident that most centralized and mainstream media outlets don't want you to think for yourself. They prefer to dictate what you should believe and perpetuate a single narrative. On the contrary, I encourage everyone to use their brains and think independently. Don't let networks and outlets spoon feed your thoughts and opinions. It may be easier to go along with that, but it's a dangerous game. Use your brain all the time or at least try to. That's pretty much it for this video. If you enjoyed this content, give this video a thumbs up to trigger YouTube's algorithm. Also, make sure to subscribe to Tesla Stock News to stay updated.